This is KY4, BDP, Kilo Uniform 4, Victor Mike. Sounds like you've got a relay. I've got Kilo Oscar 4, Oscar Sierra Sierra, in the name of Josh. This week on El Cara Ham Radio, we're going to take a look at how to run a simplex net. A net that you can run with a technician's license or above and does not require a repeater. What it does require is collaboration. This week on El Cara Ham Radio. Alrighty, so let's take a look at how to run a simplex net. Now, what I'm going to be showing you is how our club runs a net, simplex net, without the aid of a repeater. And what we like to do is we, again, have a script that we read. You can ad-lib a little bit, but what you want to do is stay incredibly professional. That's one of the things we try to emphasize when we run our nets is consistency and be professional. So let's pull up the first slide here. Why do a simplex net at all? Well, the reason simplex nets are so much fun is that there isn't the aid of a repeater, which means you're going to have to collaborate as a club. Even if there's just two or three of you in the beginning, you can actually reach out further and further depending on where your members are. In our case, we can reach out close to 70 miles. That's on a good day. Most of our simplex nets will be about 30 miles and in, in, but that's still getting out pretty well. You can certainly get out much further than we do. It just depends, again, on where your members are and what type of antennas and what is your terrain like because if you've got mountains and hills, it will be much more difficult. The reason we run a simplex net is if our repeater did go out, we could still get information out into the community. In our case, it's the Lake Cumberland area. If you look us up on a map, uh, and say Google Maps, you can find Lake Cumberland in southeastern Kentucky. And we cover just about the entire lake with our simplex net and much further north and sometimes much further south and occasionally much further west. So without a repeater, you're going to need stations to be listening just like you would if you were doing an HF net in a lot of ways. In addition to uh, trying to get information out, this is great for emergency preparedness when maybe a tornado takes out the repeater or if you had an ice storm, you don't have power at the repeater or the tower is down because of wind or what have you. Alrighty, so let's take a look at how to run a simplex net. Now what I'm going to be showing you is how our club runs a net, simplex net, without the aid of a repeater. And what we like to do is we, again, have a script that we read. You can ad-lib a little bit, but what you want to do is stay incredibly professional. That's one of the things we try to emphasize when we run our nets is consistency and be professional. So now, you're going to have a net control similar to how we showed you how to have a regular repeater-based net. Somebody needs to be net control so that you can kind of keep the reins. And what you'll be doing is putting the first call out in your at your station. This station doesn't even have to be centrally located based on where the members are, but you need a station that can be heard by at least one other station, hopefully much more than just one. Net Control is going to put out a call in their area. So let's listen to the first segment as I put out a call for the first round of stations. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is KY4BDP for the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association's Simplex Net. We hold this net each Sunday after the regular repeater base net using the frequency of 146.880. There will be no repeater used in this simplex net. The objective of this net is to practice radio-to-radio -radio communications without the aid of a repeater, and we will need the help of participants to relay other stations further away from net control who cannot hear this particular message. This is a directed net, and your net control is KY4 BDP. My name is Brian, and I'm in Somerset, Kentucky. Our goal with the Simplex Net is to have at least 10 check-ins reaching further and further out into the Lake Cumberland listening area. 
So let's get started with tonight's Simplex Net with a call for those stations that can hear Net Control KY4BDP. Please call now. November 8th, Lima Mike. Kilo Kilo 4, Yankee Uniform Call. Kilo November 4, Victor X-Ray Sierra. Kilo Uniform 4, Victor Mike. and I know I missed someone, so please listen closely. If I do not call your call sign, please call back here in just a moment. I had an N8LM, Joe, KK4YUG, Steve, KU4VM, I uh, believe that's uh, uh, Leonard, KY4RLM, Robbie, N4DFQ, Clyde, KK4JPX, Ben, AEC4AG, Austin, and KM4ZXT, Doug. Again, I'm pretty sure I missed somebody. We may have had a double as well. Please call KY4BDP now and we'll add you to the list. KY4. And I believe we picked up Larry, NN4H. Larry, if that was you, uh, uh, please come back. Uh, you cut out just a little bit and I only got a partial. Roger, Roger. Thanks so much, Larry, for coming back. Again, if I did not call your station and you would like to be added to the first round of uh, stations, please call KY4BDP now. Alrighty, so now we've put out a call. At this point, you're going to listen for stations to come back to you. You want to document each station that comes back, as we'll see in the next uh, part of the video, and then you will ask them to put a call out in their area. Hopefully what you're looking for is not only have they come back to you in the first relay, but they're going to bring back sometimes two or three additional stations that cannot hear you, but they can hear the next station out. And so you're playing leapfrog uh, basically with these callouts and then relay those back into net control for documentation. Now, as, that's, as the station one away from you relays their stations, you'll document who they were able to bring in. Sometimes it's just that station, and they didn't hear anybody when they put out a call. Other times, we've been able to get a relay to a relay to a relay. And that's when, again, it gets really fun. All righty, folks. Thanks for uh, you got nine people <laughs> uh, in this first round. So uh, that's awesome. I don't know if we've ever had this many in the first round. This is great. I think we may be well on our way into doing very well tonight. We had November 8th, Lima Mike. Joe, if you would, if you put out a call in your area, relay hope, hopefully other stations a little further out and uh, ask them to also put out a call in their area and then uh, report back to net control. Roger, Roger. <laughs> This is NALM with the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association Simplex Net. We hold this net each Sunday following the weather net. The purpose of this net is to check communications in the event of repeat or failure. If you can hear my voice but cannot hear net control, please call NALM now. KY4BP, this is NALM. Nothing heard. Alrighty, well thanks for trying Joe, and uh, we appreciate you participating tonight, and uh, we hope to hopefully relay somebody in next time. Again, thanks for participating tonight. We'll move on to our next station, KK4YUG. Steve, if you would put out a call in your area, please. This is KK4YUG for the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, Simplex Net. We hold this net each Sunday evening after the weather net to practice radio to radio communications to get word out around the county and around the surrounding area in case of an emergency or a repeater problem or whatever reason we want to talk to somebody. If you can hear my voice but cannot reach or hear net control, please call KK4YUG now and I will relay you in.
that, Brother Tommy. Appreciate your check in. I'll relay you in. Would you mind giving a call out at this time in your area to see if you can maybe bring in another? Once you have all your relays back with hopefully more than themselves, relaying back to net control, document all of those. Thank them for being a relay station. That's one of the other things that you want to do as a part of this type of net is always appreciate those who stick around for this net and act as a relay back to net control. It's all a part of the professionalism, but it's also a part of making sure everyone uh, feels appreciated. Well, Brother Robbie, I appreciate your assistance in this tonight, uh, and uh, better luck next time. And yeah, the repeater did step on you at the end there, and it, it happens. But uh, we appreciate you. Thanks for checking in with us, Robbie. Uh, I'll clear with you. Are there any other stations that can hear my voice that would like to check in to the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association Simplex then? Please call KK4YUG now. KY4BDP, this is KK4YUG, over. KK4YUG, sounds like you have one to relay, go ahead. Roger that, roger that. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, KY4TB, Brother Tommy, and he made a call in his area with nothing heard, and I thank him for his participation, and we hand it back to you at Net Control, this is KK4YUG. Thanks so much, uh, Steve, for participating tonight and that uh, very important relay. And uh, thanks for uh, uh, letting Tommy know we appreciate his ability to reach out further uh, northeast uh, here in the listening area. This is KY4 BDP, Kilo Uniform 4, Victor Mike. Sounds like you've got a relay. Roger, Roger. We've got uh, Kilo Zero Four, Oscar Sierra Sierra. Thanks so much for helping us tonight, uh, Leonard, and uh, uh, thanks for letting Josh know that we appreciate his help as well. And he's way down there, uh, 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 even west of Monticello, just a little bit. So it's good to be able to reach quite a bit further. So your uh, participation was greatly appreciated. Thanks again, Leonard. Indeed, indeed. Roger, Roger. KU Four BM. Uh, you have a relay. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, on uh, KO4 Victor Tango Delta. Thanks so much again, uh, Leonard, for uh, hearing that station call. I could def I couldn't hear him, so I'm glad you were able to pull him in tonight. We'll add one more to the roster. Again, thanks so much, and thank you for thanking Chad and asking him to come back. Now that we have stations relayed in, everybody's been documented, it's net control's job to go ahead and close out the net. Again, this net doesn't have to be nearly as long as the directed net utilizing a repeater where most of your members will come and hang out. But let's listen in on how we close the net at Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. Alrighty, well, we'll close the net one more time here at 945 Eastern Time. I want to thank all stations for participating tonight, and we will return this frequency back to regular amateur radio use. This is KY4BDP. Have a great evening, and 73. And that may do it. <laughs> Sometimes we get people right on the tail end. And thanks again, Leonard, for your help as well. Yeah, we had 14 today, and uh, that always is uh, puts a smile on my face. And we'll have a lot of uh, little uh, pins on the map that we will post to Facebook and Instagram probably tomorrow sometime. Everybody, thanks again. We'll uh, talk to you later. This is KY4BDP, uh, and I'll be clear. And there you have it. A nice, simple, simplex net. A lot of fun, and you'll actually start drumming up more participation by, again, having it the same time on the same day of the week. 
consistency is the key with this particular net because it does require a little bit more effort and it also requires them to put out a call in their area. Sometimes you're going to have some bashful members and they're not used to being a, a relay, much less a net control, but uh, coax them into it. Be patient with your folks and also let them know how much you appreciate their participation. So if you're new to running a repeater-based net or a simplex net, uh, you've watched hopefully this video. We'll put a card up in the top right corner for our repeater-based net so you can go have a look at that. Again, if you don't have a club in your area, start one. And this will give you an idea of a way to begin your calendar of events by having a weekly-based net, both a repeater-based net and a simplex net. If you don't have a repeater, Start the simplex net first. That's the easiest one to begin. You just need to get two or three folks that want to participate and then hang out and try to bring in more members, get more people to participate. If your club doesn't do a simplex net, maybe it's time to start one. I'm KY4 BDP Brian for the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button and give us a comment down at the bottom. Does your club currently run a simplex net? And if not, maybe it's time to get one started. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. 73.